So funnel analysis is really about determining churn at each stage. I'll walk you through a simple example over here. Let's say you have a workflow. This is, this is most applicable when there's a workflow that you're analyzing, right? You have a workflow like sign up for an account or download and install this app or something. That's something that is a multi-step process. So this will kind of help you determine what percentage of users are completing what steps, right? You want to have, and you can see, obviously not everybody who starts the, the, the journey completes the journey. But how do you get to pick up on the, lose, on the, on the folks who, who you've lost, right, along the way? So you think about hypotheses along this. Think about why did, I pe why did people not even make it to this stage? Is it because I'm offering really limited capabilities? Is it because I'm letting you add a card, but I'm not letting you send money to your friends and family? Maybe it's limit limitation capabilities. Could it be that there are competitors in that market that I haven't thought about that are offering better capabilities? Could it be brand awareness? Nobody knows who the heck PayPal is. And so now these are some hypotheses that you've come up with. And now you need to actually use the next steps that we'll talk about to actually analyze which one of these is true so that you can take action on it.